Today on the table I have the Maverick 88 and the Mossberg 500 Tactical. Now I'm guessing if you clicked on this video you're looking at the Maverick 88 and you're looking at the Mossberg and you're like man that's a huge price split. Is the extra cost worth it for the Mossberg? There are some differences and there's a lot of similarities. Uh, one of the biggest differences obviously is the price. You're looking at a $156 price split. In some cases, that's almost the cost of a Maverick 88. Now you can order the Mossberg Punisher, which doesn't have the heat shield and the ghost ring sights, but the price split is negligible. I mean, like, it's such a small price split. You're probably only going to see this model in gun shops because they're going to look at it and be like, wow, for like less than 20 bucks more, I can make this firearm more desirable to customers, increasing the odds of me selling it. Another difference you're going to see is Maverick 88. Uh, it just has a plastic sling swivel loop rack here so you can put on an attachment and run a sling, but then there's no place up front to put on a sling. Also, another difference with the stock, this one's hollow. This one has a hollow part right here, probably where the screw goes in that it attaches to the receiver. Other than that, it's filled in. So the Maverick 88 is going to be a lighter firearm. Do I care about the hollow stock? As long as it doesn't shatter on my shoulder, I don't care at all. I mean, anything I can do to save weight to make the shotgun lighter because they're already pretty heavy, especially when you load them up, is a plus for me. Another reason why it's lighter. Your pump, it's just pinned in right here with your two rods. And the Maverick 88 does have two rods, just like the 500. Where your 500, this is more of a sleeve. It slides over a metal tube. The tube goes all the way up to the front, giving it nice, uh, making it nice and sturdy. Now on this one, I kind of would actually like to have the tube because of this plastic and how thin a material it is on here. I'm afraid if it gets super cold out, which happens all the time in Wisconsin, that I could probably break off those little studs. I could definitely see that happening. Another big difference between the Maverick 88 and the Mossberg 500 is the location of the safety. Right here on the 500, it's a Tang safety. This is like the best place ever for a safety to be with this style of stock because it's just right there. It works perfectly. As you're coming up into action, your thumb slides off the safety, boom, it hits your cheek, good to go. Now the Maverick 88 has a push button safety up front. It's not that bad, like if you were walking like this, your thumb would, or your pointer finger would already be on it. So that would work out okay. But if you're already up, like coming forward to hit it, you have to break your hand position, it kind of sucks. But the advantage of this is you can run a pistol grip stock on this and it'll work great. This, not so much. If you have a pistol grip stock, your hand's down here, you gotta take your hand off, operate the safety, and then go back down on the pistol grip. So if you run a pistol grip stock on that, you're almost better just never putting it on safety because it's a real pain actuating it on and off. Barrel thicknesses, I spec them out, they're exactly the same. And I can put barrel this barrel on that shotgun or that shotgun barrel on this shotgun, not a problem. Uh, the receivers are slightly different. Your Maverick 88 is not tapped, so you can't put a rail on here without tapping it yourself. Your Mossberg 500, already tapped. That's pretty cool. Now, as far as I know, the Mossberg triggers are adjustable. I'm going to look up and see if I can find out if the Maverick 88 triggers are adjustable, and then I'll just annotate it in. The Mossberg 500 does come with two metal sling swivels. Um, the one up front looks terrible, though. I mean, just, just looks bad. I'd probably wind up pulling this out of there and then putting a plate sling swivel right there. But that's really up to you. Now, the Maverick 88 has a bead sight, which is exactly how a shotgun should be because as soon as the stock hits your cheek, you're on target and you discharge the firearm. The Mossberg 500 has a ghost ring sight set up, and because there's such a little price difference between the one with the ghost ring set up and without, like I said, you're probably almost always going to see the ghost ring set up on the ones in the shop, but when you come up, it touches your cheek, and now you're too low. So now you got to bring your head up and fire. If you've never ran a shotgun before and you go to the ghost ring setup, you'll probably be like, oh, that's just fine. But now, like, let's say you were on a ghost ring setup and then you went to a bead sight setup. As soon as you get familiar with the sights, you'll notice instantly 
<laughs> you're insanely faster. On a shotgun, I feel you should never have anything but a bead sight set up. This is made for shooting really small targets that are moving at a high rate of speed. And it's extremely hard to do that with a ghost ring setup. It just doesn't work. It blocks a bunch of your vision. It's slower to use. It's just not... It sucks. It really does. I mean, you can go with either one. Probably be just fine. But if you're looking for maximum speed, without a doubt, bead sight is the way to go. The font on the receiver even looks different. Way more defined on the Mossberg than the Maverick 88. The finish on the Maverick 88, this is just the blued finish. If you're familiar with blued guns, they're extremely susceptible to rusting, pitting. They, they take damage. This is more of a parked finish, much more durable. I like this finish a lot better. Oh, so what would I pick? Maverick 88, the Mossberg 500 Tactical. Like I said again, I am a huge fan of bead sights, and you could put a pistol grip on the Maverick 88. If I was buying it myself and I was limited on budget, I would definitely consider this shotgun. The Mossberg 500, I mean, the build quality looks pretty good, a couple of, except for a couple of small things like the stock where the pump goes on and the finish. But ghost ring sights, they really are that horrible, and it's making me lean away from it. I mean, they get hooked on everything, they're slow. I probably would still go with the Mossberg, because I don't like the pistol grip stocks on shotgun anyway. I like where the safety is on here. It is almost double the price of the Maverick 88. I mean, this is a decision you're going to have to really sit down and think about for yourself. Like, what are the advantages I need out of my shotgun? I mean, if you're just looking for something cheap to have by your bedside, you know, to be that pit bull in the middle of the night. So if you have to, you can just open the gates of hell. If somebody comes in your bedroom, probably the Maverick 88 would be your best choice. If you're looking for something a little bit more reliable, durable, the internals should all be about the same. I mean, both bolt carriers do have dual extractors in that, but I just feel like the Mossberg, they put a little bit more attention to detail. Then this would probably be the shotgun you're going to use, especially if... Especially if speed isn't that big of a deal, then the ghost ring sights will be just fine. But thanks for watching. Leave in the comments below which one you would pick and why. Don't forget to subscribe.